have a pretty massive project planned for this hardcore series, and it's coming in the next couple of episodes, but I'm gonna need a lot of gunpowder for this. So in today's episode, I built myself a giant mob farm in order to get a bunch of gunpowder. Please subscribe if you guys are new. We are so close to 1.5 million subscribers. Let's try to hit it before the end of 2021. Anyways, welcome to episode 22, and I hope you guys enjoy. Why am I always low on food every single time I start a video? Bam, there we go. I always start off the day with a good breakfast, guys. Before we start, let's go check up on my Iron Golems, Hank, the Lightning Legs, and Thunder Thighs. Let's go see if they have broken out yet. And let's make sure I stay at least a couple blocks back because their arms are so long, they could probably slap me from here. But I think I'm gonna jail them for 69 years. Thunder Thighs has an extra day, though, just because he's a little bit older. And let me just uh, back away from them because I'm sure they're kind of upset. And I don't really want them to touch me because I'm scared. Slap me from here yeah come on <laughs> yeah come on do it I, I dare you i double dare you let me put these jeggings back on why did i name these jeggings i'm so weird on the last episode i built my real life cabin or beach house in minecraft hardcore and this took me a very long time so if you guys haven't seen it go check it out and while i was building this i realized i really need to make myself a mob farm i'm not sure why it hit me but i do so in this episode i'll be building myself a mob drop farm just for some really good mob loot and trust me it's for a good reason you'll see in about one or two episodes and these shaders look amazing but I'm probably gonna have to turn it off before my computer turns into a toaster and uh, burns me alive. Because my computer sounds like it's about to take off right now. It sounds like a jet engine, like a PS4. <laughs> But this mob farm will be mainly designed for mob loot because I already have some good XP farms. I have this custom skeleton farm and this super OP blaze farm that I built. So I'm pretty good in XP for now. Can't believe I ran all the way over here just for that little scene. <laughs> I gotta run all the way back now. It's all your fault. But now I just need to figure out a good spot to build this thing because it's gonna look pretty ugly. It's gonna be a giant stone platform in the middle of the air. So it's not gonna be the prettiest thing unless I can use my cookie special powers and turn it into something that looks at least half decent. Because, I mean, my builds look all right. I, I don't like them too much. But if worse comes to worse, I'll just throw some leaves on it and call it a day. And I think over here, right beside my iron golem farm, would be a great spot to put it. I just really hope it doesn't mess with the functionality of this iron golem farm. Speaking about the iron golem farm, I haven't checked on it in a while. Let's see how much iron I have in this chest. Will it, would it be a full double chest? Let's see. Uh, bruh. I really thought it would be, like, full to the brim. But I'm going to need to clear out this entire mountain in order to build this thing. Because I have a really cool design for it. And this might take a while because this mountain is pretty big so less talking and let's just get mining <laughs> Yeah, this is taking a little bit too long. It's already been over an hour and it only shaved off about half of this mountain. So let's get into business. Okay, I placed on all of the TNT inside the mountain. And this is going to be the craziest, biggest, most insane explosion you'll ever see in Minecraft. Get ready, guys. Because this mountain is going to be Mount No More. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was, that was a bad joke. <clears throat> Anyways, let's light it up. Oh boy, this is going to be crazy. The explosion is going to be so big. Oh, that was anticlimactic. Uh, oh, well, what can you do? Oh my god. I didn't think I would blow up this much of the mountain. This is pretty... Oh. What the? Bruh, a creeper just snuck up. A wow, that is a pretty fat coincidence. But yeah, there we go. Um, I guess I don't need a mine anymore. Well, let's just fix this all up and turn it into dirt. And then we'll be ready to build the mob farm. And there we have it. Finally, it is completely filled up with dirt and all the mess is gone. You couldn't even tell there was a mountain here. Like, not at all. It doesn't leave a mark at all on the ground. Like, you can't even tell. They're like, there's no way. I'm so weird. But my iron are still stuck and sad and I'm gonna go sleep. Yeah. Since I'm here, let's grab a lot of torches because I need... Holy cow, a lot of torches. Okay. Get this dirt out of my inventory. Oh no, I threw it onto my dog's bed. No. I miss my dog so much. I hate these iron golems. I'll see them in 69 years. That's if they even live that long like i'm not sure how long they live but anyways let's light up all of this area before mobs spawn on it and it's getting pretty insane how big this world is getting every single episode we are expanding like crazy so if you guys want to see how big this world can get please consider subscribing all right now that the air is fully cleared out let's start working on the actual mob farm and this will give me an insane amount of mob loot and i'll also be giving us a quick tutorial on how to build this as well so follow along if you guys are interested in getting rich on rotten flesh and bones and gunpowder that'll be really helpful <laughs> no hints but i really need gunpowder but anyway start with a three by three platform like this and this will be where 
where all of the mobs will drop and you don't have to build it in the air like me and you know what let's make them out of iron blocks just because there we go now take some scaffolding or some blocks and go as high as you want i will just make sure it's over 30 blocks high so all of the mobs that spawn will die including witches all right i got it up about 40 blocks we this is entertainment right here entertainment at its finest all right i'm finally at the top and i got a beautiful view of the world but let's build the same exact ring so it also gives you a three by three square right inside the middle and once you're up here place 10 blocks in every single direction so nine ten and a block like this and then just fill it all the way up until you get all of the sides And once you have something that looks like this, all you have to do now is build a diagonal bridge like this. I will soon connect to this one like that. And then build up the walls along the edges like this and fill this all up. And now just repeat the same exact thing on all three other corners. The next step is to put a block on top of this and then a slab and just continue it all the way around until you have a nice wall. And once you have this, all you gotta do is build two blocks out on all of these edges. And this might get a little bit confusing, but as long as you place two blocks on every single edge, you should be okay. And once you're done, just run around and make sure it actually is two blocks and not more or not less. Once you have that, we gotta start placing down our water. And the best way to do this is to build a little wall right here. Take your two water buckets and make an infinite water source source like this and then just fill the buckets up and put water on all of these corners and if you built it correctly like i did all of the water should be flowing directly into the middle and it shouldn't be overflowing the hole or be a little too short and once you have this it's time for the redstone part and for this all you need is a couple pieces of redstone but i'll bring a stack one redstone comparator some redstone repeaters i think all you need is like under 32 but i'll bring all of mine one lever your dispensers and i need some observers which i don't have and i have no quartz either so let's grab my fortune three and go to the nether really quickly to grab myself some quartz if only i can snatch it off right here in my nether room that'd be so funny i'm not i'm not that lazy hopefully no one's looking um i'm just gonna bridge over here and just borrow this for a day or two you know no, no one's gonna know right take that take that and i think i'm good i'm out and see ya i'm just kidding let's go gather some quartz and now let's make some observers and you're also gonna need a lot of water buckets for this and let's get to work oh it's nighttime never mind time for bed yeah. <laughs> all right once you're up here go right inside the middle place two blocks up and then a dispenser up like this and now take your slabs and go seven blocks out every single side so one two three four five six seven and now just bridge diagonally again starting from this block and they'll soon connect to the other side and it should be a straight diagonal and repeat this on all four sides and fill up the middle bam 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 and it should look something like this and this is where all the mobs will be spawning and you can build as many layers as you want all the way up the sky limit all you gotta do is repeat the same exact thing so build two blocks up a dispenser break those two blocks underneath and then go slabs all the way through and make this waffle design so i'm gonna get started working on mine i'm gonna build this all the way to heaven it's gonna touch venus or uranus <laughs> you guys remember that joke so funny oh my god i'm, I'm literally crying right now I went a little all out and I built 12 different layers. That is a lot. And I'm really high up. But now let's take the observers and go down a floor. And you got to place the observer on the bottom of these dispensers. So it's facing downwards. So this arrow should be facing down. And just do this all the way until you reach the bottom of all of your levels you've built. Oh my god, I didn't know I reached the bottom. My butt cheek clenched a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that might be a little too much information. Actually, I do need to head down. So yeah, well, that's actually perfect because I do need water. So let's fill up all of these buckets. Okay, maybe I got a little too many buckets. And let's head back up. Never mind the sun setting. I'm going to sleep. And just to FYI, I would break all of these blocks underneath. All right, now you gotta alternate the water. And this is the pretty difficult part. I don't like this part, but you gotta put a full water bucket in this bottom dispenser and build up. Break these two blocks and fill it up with the slab again. But this time I would put 
put a slab down like this. Take your water bucket, place it down on top of the dispenser, and then put your empty bucket inside. So when it activates, the water will alternate. And now the third layer, just put the water bucket in there, build up again, fix up the floor, put a slab down, put the water in, and then the empty bucket. And just keep repeating this. So and once you get to the very top of the platform, you gotta do the same exact thing one more time. And I just gotta put my water down and the bucket. And now we gotta build the ceiling mainly out of slabs. This is gonna take a lot of blocks. And make sure you put the slab on the first half of the block so no mobs can spawn on top. And now all you gotta do is go 20 blocks out on every single side. I'm not sure if I can even count that high, to be honest with you. Comedy. Once you've built 20 blocks out on every single side, you gotta do the same exact waffle design, but massive version. And build diagonally all through until it connects to that side. And if you're doing this, I would keep a water bucket all the time just in case you fall so you don't die in your hardcore world. But I would probably miss the MLG bucket. Oh, no. Okay, this is the test. This is the test. I spoke the future into existence. <laughs> I was so lucky I feather falling four. I missed the MLG water bucket. We just saw the hardcore world flash before our eyes. We could have lost all the progress right there. Okay, let my heart cool down a little bit. Oh, man. You know what? Let me try this again. There's no way I missed twice, right? Come on. There's no, no chance. Oh, my... What if I spam right click? Does that does that help at all? Let me let me try. First attempt. Oh yeah, spamming right click is so much better. That was definitely my first try, guys. All right, enough goofing around. I have a lot of work to do. So let's fill up this entire platform with slabs. This is gonna take me like an hour. Wish me luck, everybody. <laughs> This is torture. I want to cry, but the tears won't come out anymore because I've cried so much already. <laughs> and I'm finally done. That took me a pretty long time. But now for the redstone part. And this is super simple. All I got to do is go seven blocks this way and six blocks this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it doesn't matter which side you pick. And then just thicken it up. And now let's slap down your lever. So let's put a full block here with a lever and break this slab. Or if you had a full block, you just place it right there, but I didn't have any. And now just put your comparator facing this way. So that little dot should be pointing there. Put a rest on dust here. And now just line it all the way up with repeaters facing this way out of the comparator all the way through. And make sure you go over this dispenser. So shift and right click and keep going. Put two rest on dust on the other side over here on the other end and repeat the same thing. Go in the opposite direction all the way to here. You got to break your right click button. So you got to right click all of these repeaters three times until the little tick goes to the very end i think this entire build costed me like at least fifty thousand right clicks all these blocks i've placed oh my god i'm gonna have to get a new mouse soon and look at that it's already working there's a bunch of mobs waiting down there already and now you can turn it on just flip the lever and the water will alternate now there you go you see the first change of water and there goes the mobs into the little pool and they're gonna fall all the way down to their death there's actually one thing i forgot you need nine pieces of fence gates to surround the middle and i'm really scared a creeper's gonna come at me so i gotta do this super quickly oh no okay let's get these spiders into the hole ow get in the hole sparta let's fill it in this is super dangerous let's put fence gates all alongside the middle here just like that and flip them all open so now the mobs can't hug the edges and they'll always fall down so let's come down here break all these and now we are ready jump down clutch that did not out and then break all the scaffolding kill all these stupid mobs and now it should work oh i totally forgot something too you gotta right click this competitor right click this i forgot i'm sorry right click this right here make sure it's on i'm so stupid and if you built it correctly the mob should be falling out of this and dying onto the platform on the ground the only reason why it's being so slow is because all the caves underneath here is still not lit up hey and now we're done it looks like a giant ufo in the sky it looks pretty crazy oh what's up girlfriend oh you're just gonna walk away from me like that okay Okay. Oh, and what? you just picked up another cow boyfriend. Bruh, I just got cheated on right in front of my eyes. But I think you guys know what my next episode will be since I said this looks like a UFO. Anyways, I have a butt ton of torches. So let's go into my caves and light up every single thing. So all the mobs will be focused on spawning into my dedicated mob farm or my UFO. Oh my God, there's so many mobs here. Uh oh, there goes my shield. Okay, I probably should have replaced that. But hey, right here is where my water goes up from my skeleton farm. It's kind of cool. It just splits right in between these caves. Kind of cool to see. Oh, hello, creeper. Oh, I don't have a shield. This is not good. Oh, okay, let's start lighting everything up. This is going to take me a really long time. Uh, <coughs> I just killed... Oh, my God. I just killed their entire family. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, please subscribe to a cookie god now or I steal all your cookies.
And now let's start working on the automatic sorter to sort all of these crazy items, especially these iron blocks these zombies are dropping. So this is what you need if you guys want to build it. A lot of hoppers, some chests to store the items, some repeaters, some redstone dust, comparators, and redstone torches. The first thing I would do is I would go right into the middle right here and build three blocks out on every single side. And then place one more block and then go all the way around to make a square like this. And now just break everything inside the middle of the square. And now take your hoppers and right click them on these blocks. So they're all facing this way towards the block. So if you break this for reference, you will see all these hoppers will be facing this way, every single one. And just do the same thing row by row. So this one will be facing all this way. This one will all face this way in a row and do this for every single hopper. And there we go. Now break this very edge where you want the chests to be and put a row of hoppers facing this block, just like this. Once you have that, all of the items that fall into these hoppers should lead right to this hopper on the very end. And if you build it correctly, all of the hoppers should be looking like this. I'm gonna need to get some more hoppers though. So make sure you guys have a really good source of uh, iron. Luckily I do. And now once you have this entire platform built out, go to the corner with the hopper that's collecting all of the items over here and go to the opposite corner now and build two blocks out like this and then break this block. And once you have that, get your hoppers and face them towards this block like this and go all the way across until you reach this block over here. Break this corner block and then two more hoppers like that. And then all of your mob loot will be moving all through these hoppers into the very end over here. So now let's start working on the redstone part. Go to your singular row of pistons and build two blocks underneath like this and then go behind it and place a block like that. And now you can break these two blocks and build this platform all the way out to match with these hoppers. Now just build up to there. And now what you want to do is take your comparators and face them that way, just like this. And now take your hoppers and face every single hopper towards a single comparator, just like this. And make sure all of them are facing each individual comparator. Now just go behind the comparators, build up, and then ex and then now extend it two blocks like this. Once you have a two by six, go a block underneath on the very back and build another row. And you can break the pillar just like that. And it should look something like this. And now take your redstone dust and just line it all the way up like this. And then also on this bottom row. And you're done for the top side. Now jump down, place a block right in this corner and then another one underneath. Then break the block in the middle and continue it all throughout like this. And now you can place a block right here so it makes a little gap in the middle. And then on this block underneath the comparator, line it up with some redstone torches. And I actually made a little mistake. Break this row of blocks with the redstone on top. And what you want to do is take your redstone repeaters and just line it up like this. And now just replace what you broke. And then the redstone dust. And now you are done. So if you build it correctly, it should look something like this. You can pause the video and just copy it. And now you can start placing down your chest and line it up all the way to the bottom like this. Five double chests to store one singular loot and just build it all the way down until you have a nice fat chunk of chests like this. And once you have that, just place your hoppers facing into each individual chest like this and go all the way down and repeat the same thing for every single chest and make sure they face towards it so all the items lead into it. And there you go. And now to make the filter work, just grab a random stack of blocks. So I'm gonna grab the calcite, but you can easily use dirt or cobblestone or anything. Head over to your anvil and rename this to some random stuff. You can name it filter items or you can just name it like monkey mode like me. Now let's head on top of my chest and go to the hopper that's right on the same level as the comparator. And now just put four of the blocks here and then the item you want to sort like gunpowder. And it should stop at 41. And now this entire row of chests will only be sorting gunpowder. And do the same thing on every single hopper. So this one, I'm going to put bones in here and fill it up with my monkey blocks. And it should stop at 41 and continue this all the way through. So arrows and then my monkey mode blocks, my filter items, rotten flesh in this one and I put string in this one. And I have two more hoppers with nothing in it. So these two will just be filtering all the random stuff that I get like glass bottles or redstone from witches. But if you guys want a chest for all the random items that won't be sorted, make sure all of these are filled out with a block. So these are sorted out and then just continue this hopper over here and then just lining up the chests like this and all the miscellaneous stuff will fill up there if that made any sense. So no redstone will be required for that. And there you go. And now let's take out all these unnecessary items that don't belong. And now we just AFK the farm and you'll see it being sorted out. I'll be back in about 10 minutes for a little snack break and then you'll see all the items being sorted out. And it might be more than 10 minutes because uh, I ordered myself some Popeyes. So uh, I'll be back. 
I am back from the dead. I just ate a whole bunch of fried chicken and my veins are being clogged with oil and grease. I might pass out in about three minutes. But anyways, all the items are fully sorted out, which makes me super happy. And all this gunpowder will be super helpful for a future project. But now let's decorate this up a little bit. Let's fancy it up. And this is my last stack of spruce logs. I literally have none left and they're all into slabs. Like, why well, do I don't use any of these? So let's quickly go resource gathering for some more wood. All right. Hello, buddies. Oh my God. I thought they disappeared. That horse over there was in the corner. I thought he escaped somehow. But now let's go in my comments and pick a name for these guys. And after going through my comments for like 10 minutes, I found some two names. The runner will be named Bolt by Jocks. And the jumper will be named Jumbo by Mr. Teddy. And I guess Jumbo is pretty famous because these three sheep really want to meet him. And I'm not going to lie. He does look pretty Jumbo. He does have a whole pile of food beside him. You fatty. You're not going to be able to jump soon. Anyways, let's hop on my boy. What's his name again? I forgot. Bolt. And let's go find my Myself a spruce biome and yeet. oh damn this guy fat uh, uh, oh I banged his head against the stone wall okay I, I did it again <laughs> okay let's go find myself a spruce biome okay, he could definitely make this jump oh yeah oh did you guys see that go jump with me we were like a synchronized swimming team we jumped together yeet. oh my god i can't time my jumps correctly uh, yeet. all right speaking about goats can we take a moment and appreciate how funny my goat head looks it looks like he's on drugs don't do drugs kids it is not good Ooh, there's a horse right here maybe i should try him out yeet. Damn. Maybe this guy can jump. All right, but let me let me try to get this horse. This horse is kind of lonely. Maybe this horse needs a uh, a place to stay, a new a new home instead of sitting here soaking up in this water. All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, you you belong to be homeless. I'm sorry. Go away. Oh wait, what? Did my horse just duplicate? Hello? What just happened? My horse just duplicated. There's a clone. Which one is? Is it named Jolt? Which one is Bolt? I don't remember. What? How did this happen? I came here with one horse, and now there's two of them. This is the weirdest thing ever. Okay. Oh, is this? guy who are you then what they're exactly identical that is so weird you know what maybe this is maybe this is a sign maybe this guy is better let's see maybe he runs faster and jumps higher this guy's literally floating on the edge right now though he only has one big toe on the on the block yeah this guy's got powers imagine a flying yo chill out oh my god that cow almost pushed me off all right let's see oh he can jump well that's a pretty high jump and he's kind of slow okay never mind you're the worst twin this guy's a better twin oh ah Ah, uh, see that dream clutch? Oh my god, I'm insane. I just clutched the 100 block fall, dude. I'm so weird. Oh, uh, go, 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 bolts, go. Oh, I'm sorry. Go, 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 go back home, go back. Yee. Oh, go, go, go. Yee. I'm scared of mobs. Okay, I just went to bed and it's daytime again, so let's actually go get some spruce wood because uh, I'm getting a little distracted here. And since when did so many horses spawn on my world now? I swear there were none last episode and now, like, they're everywhere. Of course, when I don't need them. Ugh. I hate creepers, man. I get so distracted. What is wrong with me? Ooh, squirrel. I'm just kidding. Finally, let's start chopping down these trees. You better not leave me. If you do, I'll hunt you and find you. All right, I got myself the spruce logs, and I have no idea where Bolt went. Oh, oh never mind. That's not him. Oh, that's a pig. Bruh, you really left me? I was gone for like 10 minutes. This boy dipped. Oh, he's right there. I thought you dipped on me, bruh. Yeah, yeah you missed my fat butt cheeks on your back. <laughs> Why, why do I say this stuff? Why? Why? I'm so weird. I mean, you guys are just as weird for watching my videos. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. But we are not done yet because my UFO looking mob farm needs some decorating. Who needs an elytra when you got bolt? Like, come on. Horses are so much faster and so much cooler than wings. Yo, I already got two horses moving in here. I did not give you guys permission to be here. How did they even get in here? Bruh. All right. I, I guess you guys can stay. And welcome home, bolt. Thank you for letting me ride you. And before I start decorating, Decorating my mob farm. Let's add some names to the wall of leaves. Who is gonna be the lucky winner today? Beep pop, beep pop, beep pop, beep pop, beep pop, pop, pop. Beep, 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 Entertainment at his finest. And the winner is Smeary. I think that's how you say your name. And he said this will be his last try trying to get onto the wall of leaves. And you know what? He should never give up. You never know when you'll be chosen. Bam, bam. Yeet. Ugh. And there you go. Congratulations. And I gave him a pretty fancy Y. And now let's decorate this area. It's going to be a super simple design. And this time I'm going to give it more of a broken down and run down look. And you guys will see why in the next episode. But trust me, it's going to be a pretty awesome build. I'm gonna transform this entire land into something epic. Let's strip all of these logs. My favorite part of the day. And let's build another log over here, but a little bit shorter. And to make it look all broken and run down, I'm gonna replace some of these logs with some
of stairs so it gives it a little bit of like a, a broken down vibe you know what i mean i have no idea how to explain it let's do the same exact thing on the top some random stairs everywhere bam bam and now let's fill up the inside with some oak and by using stairs if i place them here they will cover up the gap but also allow me to open the chests just like this pretty fancy and just throw random stuff around to make it look a little better and you can't go wrong with some leaves everywhere also some fences around will make it look kind of abandoned like that and there we go it looks pretty beat up and broken down and that's the look i'm going for and now let's just surround the entire thing and make a big box And this is definitely the weirdest design I've ever built on my world. There is no really... What the? Where, where did you come from? Hello? The sun is... How are you not burning? And why, why is his head shaking like that? This guy's having a disco party. <laughs> this guy getting so hot in the club, he's even burning. Oh, oh, there you go. I'll save you, chicken. Now give me your meat. I got an item frame, and let's just hide this chicken here for memory. On episode 100, if we make it there, you guys better remember this chicken. Let's name it Popeyes. You guys are probably wondering, why did I design this house like this? There's no pattern at all. It's just super random, and it looks all broken down and messy well you will see on friday <laughs> i have a big project planned but there you guys have it that is my new epic mob farm insane 6000 i literally just say random words i'm so weird but anyways thank you guys so much for watching please take care and i'll see you guys on friday